What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal walkthrough. Okay, so we finally did the essentials, you know. We went to Mr. Pokemon's house, got that mystery egg, we beat up on our new rival named Silver, and uh, yeah, we have to go talk to our mama now, just because, well, Professor Elm said so, I don't know. We have to go to our mama, and before we leave, this guy's like, Draven, use these on your, uh, on your Pokedex quest. We get ourselves Pokeball. To add your Pokedex, you have to catch Pokemon. Throw Pokeballs at wild Pokemon to get them. Draven put the Pokeballs in the Pokeball bucket. Wow, can't even say that three times. Well, let's see how many Pokeballs that he gave us. Oh, nope. Huh? He gave us five Pokeballs. So that's pretty cool. Very good. Now we can start capturing some Pokemon right here. Um, but before we do anything, again, we have to go talk to our mama because mama's gonna get worried. And uh, where is she? Oh, there she is. Okay, so she's like, wow, that's a cute Pokemon. Where did you get it? Hmm. So you're leaving on an adventure. Okay, I'll help too. But what can I do for you? Hmm, I know, I'll save money for you. On a long journey, money is important. Do you have, do you want me to save your money? And, uh, well, if you guys remember in episode one about the decoration part and how you need to build up money to actually get that kind of stuff well this is the way you have to do it so I'm gonna have to say yes now every battle you win half of that money will go to mama and by the amount of money that she gets she'll actually buy some cool items if not decorations um, and she'll leave them on the PC and all that stuff she's like okay I'll take care of your money hmm be careful Pokemon are your friends you need to work as a team now go on I will, I guess. Now, another thing, too, is that you can come back home, have, send some more money to your mom. If not, withdraw some money from mama, too. That kind of stuff. You know, she's like a bank. Basically, the Pokemon bank right here. So, that's it. We're already done talking to mama. Now, it's time to go back in our adventure and be men. Be Pokemon men. And before we do anything, come on, bro. He's like, I've seen you a couple times. How many Pokemon have you caught? Would you like me to show you how to catch a Pokemon? Well, even if I say no, you're still going to teach me. So, yes, I guess. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Come on. So, as you can see, this is the tutorial. There's no glitch involved in this unless I don't, you know, unless I, like, somebody's figured this out. But this guy right here is like, well, Reddit has appeared. Level 5. Hmm. And, of course, he just throws a Pokeball right there and then. But, really, you have to weaken the Pokemon in order to capture that Pokemon. Yeah, that's how you do it. And he's like, gotcha. Ratato was cut. All right, okay, okay. So he's done a good job right there. Good for you, both. Good for you. So he's like, that's how you, uh, that's how you do it. If you weaken them uh, first, Pokemon are easier to catch. I guess so. I don't know. Okay. Well, that was pretty much pointless. Well, let's move on and uh, no more Pokemon. Oh, look at that, it's a Sentret. Yes, you will be able to find Sentrets right here. And like I said early on in our, well, in our walkthrough, yes, uh, there's day and night, and you can actually capture some Pokemon in the day and in the night. Some certain Pokemon come out in day and night too. And there are also certain evolutions in the day and the night. You guys catch my drift right there, and look at that. More leveling up. Oh, we're close to level nine right here. So close. So I'm gonna battle one more time just to get to level nine. Hopefully we get another move. You know, Ember, that kind of move that we need. Come on, bro. Come on. Let's go, Cinder. Tackle attack. Let's do this. Be a man. And oh, almost beat him right there and then. You could capture Sand Trip, but I wouldn't recommend him on your team. Not that strong. Really, really not that strong. Get beat every single time, especially by a fighting type Pokemon. Look at that, level nine. Awesome. And no, we don't learn a new move. That ain't that a waste of time. Okay. Moving on right here. Going on our trip. I do not know why I'm singing. But here we are. I avoided some Pokemon because of my lousy singing. And if we go right here. Let's see. You, can, you can't climb the ledges. But you can jump down from them too to create a shortcut, I guess. And let's see. What is this guy? Different kinds of Pokemon appear past here. If you want to catch them all. You have to look everywhere. I guess so. So here we are in Route 46. Um, yeah, Mountain Road ahead. 
like they said, you can't climb these ledges right here, and there's no way around it, but there is a lot of grass right here. You can capture some different kinds of Pokemon. I think one of them is a Geodude, and if you guys are very strategic or one of the strategic types, yes, Geodude is actually very good against the very first gym, which is a uh, flying type gym. gym. Yeah, yeah, it's flying type gym. So this is the place to look for that kind of particular Pokemon and all that. And uh, I'm just going to continue to tackle right here because why not? Look at that. I'm just leveling up my Pokemon like crazy. Um, there's another Pokemon right here that you can actually capture. I got I to gotta figure this out while I'm battling everybody. And would you look at that, Geodude. Pretty cool Pokemon. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and battle him. See how, see how we do. I want to see how we do with this. Of course, it is a very, very phys uh, physically defensive Pokemon right here. You're not going to get past this guy a lot. And, uh, oh god. Oh god. Not very effective. This guy is... This guy's a tank. He is a tank. Oh god. Oh, come on. We should have just... Oh god. Come on, man. Can't lose to a... What the heck? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay, come on. Let's go, Cinder. Don't let this Geodude beat you just like that. Ugh. Okay, so, uh, we gotta retreat. We have to retreat. We cannot beat this guy just like this. Okay, so as you can see, yeah, you, you, you'll be able to find Geodudes right there. Now, the different Pokemon you can find right here. There's a Pokemon right here you can find. Oh, yes. You can actually find a Fancy right around here in the morning time, but it, there's only a 5% chance that you can actually find it. So if you guys are interested in a Fancy, this is the place to go. Of course. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably not going to find it right now. I'm just going to find this guy right here. Yeah. Yeah, more than 50% of the time you're going to find this guy right here. So, yeah, I'm not going to try and find him right now. Um, yeah, so if you guys want to find Fancy, that's the place to go. Did not know that. And it's only exclusive in Pokemon Crystal, too, so that's another big plus, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, thank Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for not letting me hit that thing. Or any Pokemon. I don't know. Okay, so back to Cherry Grove. Let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon. Because why not? Let's go ahead and capture that. Or heal up our Pokemon. Alright. See? Only one Pokemon. Pretty cool. Very, very cool. Okay, let's get the heck out of here, and uh, I think they added a few more things to the Pokemon after the uh, the whole Elm event right here. So if you come back, you can actually buy some Pokeballs now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy myself five more Pokeballs because there are a few Pokemon that I would like to capture right before our first gym battle. You know, some pretty cool Pokemon. I don't know if they're cool, but you know, you know what I mean. So here we are back at Route 30, and ugh, more Pokemon. Look at that, a Caterpie. It's been a while. Should I capture this Caterpie? Because, you know, why not? Nah, I'm not going to capture him. I'm just going to battle him. This is much easier. Better than a Geodude. I'll tell you that right now. Better than a Geodude. Let's go again. Tackle attack. And it does as well. Oh, yes. Come to Papa. More experience points. I think at night you can actually find a Poliwag right here on the grass, too. So, keep that in mind. Now, oh, God. More. More Pokemon. And look at that. It's a Ladybug. Now, if you guys are interested in Ladybug, let me just tell you this right now. It is not worth it. It really isn't. Ladybug is not that great. It evolves early, but it's not that great of a Pokemon. Trust me. Look at that. Look how much damage it's done to me. 1 HP. Not that strong. And would you look at that. Yeah. Okay, so... I guess the battle's over. Yeah, they're done. He's not a trainer right here. He's like, everyone's having fun battling. You should too. Now, this kid right here, we kind of messed him up a little, and he's blaming us. He's like, I just lost, so I'm trying to find him more Pokemon. Wait, you look weak. Come on, let's battle. Okay, whatever you say, Sunshine, but... Don't go home crying to your mama after I beat you. So here he comes out with a Rattata. Okay, well, that's why you lost, because it's a Rattata. Let's go, Cinder. Finish this guy off with a tackle attack. Just one tackle attack will do. And it doesn't do us anything. Ain't that great. Ain't that like a kick in the nuts right there? Oh, yeah. Oh, come on. 
Should have beaten him right there and then. There we go. Tackle attack. For the win. Say goodbye to Radita. And, okay, alright. Youngster Joey, he's like, Ugh! I lost again! Doggone it! Who says doggone it now? Jeez. So if you talk to this guy, he's like, Do I have, uh, do I, or do I have to have more Pokemon in a, in order to, uh, to battle battle? Yes, you kind of have to. No, I'm sticking with the one I, no matter what. Listen, can I get your phone number? I'll ring, uh, I'll ring you for some battles. I'm a rookie too, so I don't think I'd be, uh, I think I'd be a good motivator. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you should probably come along with me because you probably will get better. But whatever. What the heck. Give me your number. So there it is, guys. We got his phone number. <sighs> I'll tell you this right now. He's going to be annoying the crap out of us. Okay, so see ya. Now here's the guy that beat him. You're Pokemon trainer, right? Then you have to battle. Says who? All I want to do is just get the heck out of here, but you're just making me battle. Shoot. Shoot me in the foot right now. He's like, Youngster Mikey wants to battle, and he's coming out with his Pidgey. So that's the reason why he lost to a Pidgey. A level 2 Pidgey out of all of these things. Okay. Come, oh, come on. See, this is the reason why I want Ember. We miss a lot. Come on, Cinder. Come on. Do it for your Cinder bitches. And, uh, well, he doesn't miss. So I'm gonna not miss right here, right? Not bad. We don't miss. And we are close to level 10 right here, come on. Oh yes, he did lose. Yeah, he lost because of the numbers game. Pretty cool. Very awesome, good job, good job. And uh, still, this Pokemon is not that strong enough to beat everybody all in one cycle, but we're getting there. We are getting there. And uh, that was almost a critical hit right there. And that, that Redita, oh wow. Nice critical hit on us. There you go. Bye bye, Radita. And uh, look at that. Level 10. Finally. And we still don't learn a new move. Okay, so I'm. Whatever. Screw you, Generation 2. That's strange. I won before. You did, but. Yeah. Not as strong as you used to be. Becoming a good trainer is really tough. I'm going to battle other people to get better. You probably should. I don't know, you probably should, and let's see, oh, I'm not a trainer, but if you look at one in the eyes, prepare to battle, uh, I guess so, I mean, I don't necessarily look at the guy's eyes, they look at, they look at the side of me, and next thing you know, they want to battle, and well, this guy, he just looked at me, I looked at him, so, I must have noticed something, I guess, I don't know, so here it is, Bug Catcher down, coming out with his counterpie, you know, it would be nice to have Amber attack right now, like right now, right now. But, you know, we could wait, I guess. I, I don't know, we could wait a little. And uh, that tackle attack will hit us by one HP. Alright, alright. There we go. What's next? Coming out with his Caterpie. Eventually, I will be capturing my next Pokemon. Eventually. I don't know. We shall see. And, uh, well, more tackle attacks. These Caterpies are not great. Caterpies, I should say. <laughs> I like saying Caterpie because it, it has pie at the end. And, you know, Thanksgiving is around the corner, guys. Pie. Lots and lots of pie. I might eat a lot of pie. I don't know. And, okay, so that is it for all those guys. And, of course, we're at Route 31. And look at that. The dreaded tree. Ugh. Do not like the dreaded tree because... Why not? Let's not like the dreaded tree. And uh, here we have Caterpie yet again. WTF, Caterpie. WTF. I am going to battle you because why not? At this point, we need to battle. We need to level up. We really do. And this guy is not making it easy for me. He's just hitting me once at a time and all that. And uh, wow, good critical hit. Our first critical hit right there. And okay, so we're close. Alrighty, and is this guy a trainer? No, he's like, Dark Cave. If Pokemon would light it up, I'd explore it. Hmm, the famous Dark Cave, and it is the morning. Hmm, and we found ourselves a potion. Okay, alright. So, there is a little something here that we can do right now, guys. Like, right now, right now, it is the morning time. There is a specific Pokemon that I do want to capture in this cave. So, 
Mm, excuse me while I try and find this because there's only a 5% chance to try and find this guy right here. So I'll be back in just a little bit, guys. Well, ain't that the darnest thing. So, here's what happened, guys. I've been having a lot of trouble trying to capture this Teddy Ursa. I really was. Because it fled. A lot. And, of course, I'm using the visual, the VBA uh, for Pokemon Crystal, and I sped it up just a little, and unfortunately, I pressed that fast button, and, yeah, somehow I managed to capture this Teddy Ursa with ease. Bastard Teddy Ursa. So here it is, guys, our second Pokemon on our team. Teddy Ursa, the little bear Pokemon. It's always, it always looks, or it always looks, well, I'm trying to say this right now. It always licks honey. Its palm tastes sweet because of all the honey it has absorbed. Damn you, Teddy Ursa. So yeah, guys, that's what happens when you get lucky one time out of, let me see, 17 times, I guess. Yeah, it's about 17 times I tried to capture this Pokemon right here. So, I'm going to give this Pokemon a little nickname right here. I probably should be giving him the nickname like Teddy or something. You know what? Yeah. I'm going to give the nickname I'm going to give the nickname Ted because of the movie Ted. Cuz he's so freaking hilarious with two Ds. So, here we go, guys. Our second Pokemon, Ted, the female Pokemon. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Since it's a female, I'm gonna call it Teddy because it's a female Pokemon. God dang it! Uh, so here we are in the dark cave, and just to show you guys that I did not cheat or anything like that, look at the Pokeballs. I only used two. Yeah, and yeah. <laughs> so here we have it. Our second Pokemon right here on our team, Teddy Ursa or Teddy, and uh, it is a normal type Pokemon, and it does have Scratch and Leer. And once it evolves into an Earth Rank, it is a powerhouse of a Pokemon when it has, with its attack. Its physical attack, I should say. So, it's a good addition to our team. Now, we're not done. We're not completely done trying to capture some Pokemon right here. There is one more Pokemon that, yes, you guys will be able to see right here. So, let's go ahead and walk around just a little bit. Because we can't really see anything right here. There's walls right here. Ledges, possibly. Maybe boulders. Hopefully, we'll find that Pokemon that we want to capture. And, uh... No. No. Not Geodude. Not the dude. Of course, you can find Geodude here 50% of the time, all the time, so don't even waste your time, you know, whatever. If you want to go capture a Geodude easily, just like that right there, as you can see, there's another Geodude. He's not, let, he, he's not letting us go. You know what? I should... Nah, I'm not going to battle him. I am not going to battle you, buddy, because it is not worth it. You are physically gifted in the defense department. So I'm going to move along right here. Keep it going. Let's see if we found that Pokemon right here. No! Jesus. Come on. Give us a chance. Just give me a chance, man. Okay, moving along. Come on. Come on. I know you're here somewhere. There are three different types of Pokemon you can actually find. That one Pokemon is... Wow. Wow, out of all the Pokemon, Teddy Ursa. So take a look at this. This is what I was struggling with. I'm going to throw a Pokeball right here. This is exactly how I caught that Teddy Ursa. One. Boom. And it fled. That's what I was dealing with for freaking 30 minutes 30 minutes guys so if you guys are trying to capture a Teddy Ursa especially in the morning time good luck good freaking luck and are you kidding me Ugh. Joe dude you are not the coolest dude ever uh, if I find another Teddy Ursa right here and we manage to capture that Pokemon with ease I I'm gonna lose my shit I will I will lose it that Geodude is not letting us... Oh, God. How is it so easy to find Geodude, but not this certain Pokemon that I want to capture? Come on. Do not let it be a Geodude. It's a Geodude. I might have to go off screen for this one. Oh, I'm going off screen for this one. I'm probably going to have to go off screen. Let's try this one more time. And if we find another Geodude, I swear we will be going off screen. So, come on. Where are you? Donde estais? There you are. So here it is, guys. 
the third team member, Zubat. Alrighty. So hopefully we don't want hit KO this thing right here, because that's exactly what I did with Teddy Ursa. And there we go. Okay. And it does have Leech Life, which is also good, I guess. Okay. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and capture this Pokemon right here. Why Zubat? Well, I've always wanted to use a Zubat on our team. May have used it back in Pokemon Soul Silver. I could be wrong. So here it is, guys. Pokemon number three, Zubat. And, uh, well, let's take a look at this. This is a bat Pokemon. During the day, it gathers with others and hangs from the, uh, the ceilings of old buildings and caves, which is pretty cool. Very good Pokemon. So you want to give him a nickname? Yes, I do. Let's see. That's a good nickname for this Pokemon. I want to give it something strong, like meaningful. Make him look strong. Let's see. How about this? Toxic Bat. Toxic Batman. There we go. Toxic Batman. There we go. So there it is, guys. Our next Pokemon, Toxic Batman. Let's go ahead and uh, get the heck out of here and check out our next Pokemon right here. Toxie Batman. And also a female. And it's both a poison and flying type Pokemon. It's only move right now, it's Leech Life, so it's gonna be effective against some fire or no some um, some grass type Pokemon or psychic types. But that's basically it. And then Teddy right here. I I I don't think I checked oh yeah, I checked its stats and everything. So both these Pokemon are a little bit weak, but no worries. No worries, because we will be training these Pokemon to become men and women of, you know, power and all that stuff. So, I am going to switch Teddy first, because why not? And let's go ahead and just start battling everybody, and would you look at that? It's like, yo, Draven, how are you doing? This is Joey, got a minute? How, how are your Pokemon doing? My Rattata, roaring to go, just like always. It's the only one I have, I'm going to become a great trainer with it. Oh yeah, I saw a Ladybug. I thought about going for it, but I decided to work with my one and only Pokemon right now. So, to the extreme end, I guess. Okay, whatever. I thought he wanted to battle. Because if he wanted to battle, I would have actually would have taken that battle pretty seriously. You know, with these new Pokemon I have. So, as you can see, we're moving along right here in Route 31. There is another tree, and he's like, we got a Bitterberry, which will actually help us with confusion. And if you talk to this guy right here, he's like, hmm, huh. huh. I walked too far today looking for a Pokemon. My feet hurt. I'm sleepy. If I were a wild Pokemon, I'd be easy to catch. No, you won't. Remember him, guys. Remember him, because we will be seeing him pretty soon here. And, uh, ooh, there's an item, but he's like, I caught a bunch of Pokemon. Let me battle with you. Yeah. So it, it, it looks like we're going to be switch battling here in just a little bit. And this guy, he has four Pokemon, so this is good. This is good for us because not so strong Pokemon. You know, good Pokemon right here and a good scratch attack. But we're not fast enough right now. So let's go Teddy. Oh, look at that. Pretty strong. Okay. So Teddy is going to battle battle this Caterpie. Just like easy. Easy, easy battle. And, um... No, it's still not doing anything. Oh, come on. Should have beaten him right there and then, but no, it's not giving us anything. And would you look at that? Teddy is... Look at that! Teddy! Look at you, Teddy. Okay, yeah, it's a tech is... Wow. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna keep you on, on this battle right here because you look like... You look like a... A nice teddy bear ready to kick some butt right here. Look at that. It is a strong Pokemon for, for a level 3 Pokemon right here. So let's go. Scratch attack. Mm-hmm. Bye bye More experience points. And, oh, thought it was going to level up again. Coming out with this Weedle. Let me switch it up right here. I do not want to get this Pokemon, uh... I do not want to get this Pokemon poisoned right now. Teddy, you had enough. Let's go. Cinder. And hopefully we learn a new move right here. Hopefully. I am hoping. I am praying to Arceus. And that string shot is going to slow us down a little, but no worries. Tackle attack again. Goodbye, Weedle. And look at that. Level 11. Hello, hello. 
Did we learn a new move? No, we d Good God, no, we don't. And he's coming out with a Caterpie. So, Teddy, you're up. Yeah. Alrighty. Okay. Let's go, Teddy. That's right. Show him those hands. That Caterpie is about to catch those hands right there. And, uh... Uh, slowing us down just a little, okay. And uh, the tackle attack is gonna do some some pretty good damage to us. So let's go again with another scratch attack. You see the benefit of having scratch attack over tackle. And Teddy, look at you, level four already. Look at that. Okay, so he's like, ah, that's right. Thirty-two bucks. We want thirty-two bucks off this guy. He's like, you can catch Pokemon even if you have six with you. If you catch. If you catch one, it'll go to your box automatically. You're awesome! I like you! I look for Pokemon here every day. When I'm in the, in the grass, I find all kinds of berries. If you like, I'll share some. Can I get your number? Sure, why not? This guy will actually help us out with some different kinds of berries. I, I, I really... He's not going to battle us, but he's going to be okay, I guess. I don't know. Hopefully you don't annoy us like uh, the, that Joey kid. And here we found a Pokeball. Easy Pokeball. Alright. And, uh, is there another trainer here? There should be another trainer here. But, just in case, let me switch it up to Toxie Batman. No, there's no other trainer here. But, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna screw around a little. I wanna see if we can find a Pokemon that my top, or, oh jeez. Never mind. A Weedle. Toxie Batman. You see that? Toxie Batman. And uh, yeah, it doesn't look like it's gonna it's gonna do much against this Weedle, so I'm gonna just switch it out. Just one little battle, we'll be fine. And uh, that string shot does not do anything. So here we go, another tackle attack. That's right. And please do not poison us. Please do not poison us. And it poisoned us. Why would you poison us, you jerk? I don't know. I didn't like that. I didn't like that. I don't. I didn't like being poisoned like that. Okay. Okay. Let's talk to this guy right here. It's like I found a good uh, Pokemon in Dark Cave. I'm going to raise it to take on a uh, Faulkner. He's the leader of the Violet City Gym. Ah, huh, ain't that cool? I just got two Pokemon, and we are close to Violet City. Let's see. Hold on. Let me check how much HP we have. But nah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. So. Let's go in here and talk to this guy. He's like, hi there, did you visit the Sprout Tower? No, I didn't. Talk to this girl. She's like, I came out too far, or I came too far out. I'd better uh, phone home. <laughs> Alrighty. So here we are in Violet City, guys. It took us a while, but we're finally here. Stay tuned in the next episode. We will be eh, taking a small tour. You know. Off screen, I will be training my Pokemon just a little bit and capturing some Pokemon that are needed for this adventure. So stay tuned, guys. I'll be back in just a little bit. See you guys.